Welcome everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. Before we get going today, I'd just like to send you all my best wishes. I hope you are staying well and I hope you are staying safe in these crazy times we are all experiencing at the moment. Okay, this is the photo that we're going to do this week. It is the cracked face effect in Affinity Photo. We're going to start off with this photo here and we're going to use this picture as well of our cracked paint on concrete. Okay. Okay, as usual, everybody, let's get started. We've got our background layer here. So let's go to Command J to copy and let's call that background copy modified. I hope I've spelled that right. Okay, and on this modified layer, we're going to bring over our cracked paint. So Command C and Command V over onto the picture here. On this background here, the cracked paint, we're going to change the blend mode to multiply and come over here to our move tool and we're just going to finesse this into place and what I'm looking to do is get this piece of the cracked paint here down onto her lip here but I'm just going to move that a little bit bigger and move that into place sort of round about there looks pretty good and we've got that bit on her chin as well and let's just move that up a little bit up to the top about there looking pretty good okay once we've got it into position so what i'm going to do now is just get rid of the color from this background paint layer here so i'm going to come down here to my adjustments and come down here to hsl i'm going to move this down just on to affect that layer just the background of the paint layer i'm going to move the saturation slider all the way down and just take that color out Okay, clicking back on the background layer, which is the paint layer. I might just name that paint layer just so it can be identified a little bit better. So still clicking on the paint layer. The next thing we are going to do is come over here to our liquify tool up here on the top of the toolbar. Just press liquify. All the settings over here are okay at the moment. And we're gonna make sure we're clicking on this one here, liquify push forward tool. And you can see the mesh that's over the face here as well. And it's only affecting this paint layer. And what we wanna do is move our paint layer to the contours of the face. And do that by just pushing forward with our tool here. And you might be able to see that mesh moving. And we're just going around the contour of the face the nose here and you can see that mesh moving in I don't know if you can see that with it's all moving to the contour of the face here and we're just going to move it and we've got this cheekbone here so I'm just going to push it around the cheekbone there and around the nose here just keep pushing it in bit by bit just get that contour that we're looking for underneath the lips here and you can really take your time doing this I'm doing it fairly quickly you can take a little bit more time when you're doing it just to get it absolutely perfect and just moving it in really quite nice around contours of the face maybe a little bit more around the eyes here a bit more especially in those little dark areas there okay once you're happy and you think you've got a really good selection and all to the contours of the face you can come up here and hit apply and as you can see that looks a little bit better going around the contours there and around the cheekbone and around the nose and lips okay the next thing i'm going to do on this layer still on the paint layer i'm going to add a mask so we're going to grab a mask we're going to click on the mask and we're going to go command i and invert that mask so that'll all disappear which is good going to grab our brush tool we're going to grab a nice soft brush just a really soft brush in the basics and on our colors here we want to be painting in white so we can bring those cracks back make sure our opacity is 100 and our flow is 100 so we'll turn the flow all the way up to 100 as well and as you can see those cracks are going to come back in so i'm going to make my brush fairly big here and we're going to bring those cracks just on to half of the face here looking pretty good and down just on half don't worry if you go over the edges a bit we'll fix that in a sec and just like that nice all over get those cracks looking really really good okay so looking really nice now let's take 
our brush still now. Let's make this a little bit bigger and we'll just get rid of the areas that we don't want. And to do that, yep, we'll hit X on our keyboard, to change to painting in black. And we'll just get rid of those areas. I'm gonna make my brush quite small. Get rid of all those ones that we don't want. Go around the chin here. And you can keep going back from black to white just so you can really finesse those areas around. There we go, take that one off. Back to white here a little bit, get that back in back to black on the side there and we'll just go around get rid of any that we don't want nice and small I'm going to go back to black again just to go around that area there okay I'm going to get rid of that one on her lip there and I think I'll get rid of this one all the way down to about here looking pretty good okay I'm going to go up to the eye now as well because there's quite a few in the eye I'm painting in black as I take these ones out of the eye so let's get them all out before we move on to anything else okay all the way around looking pretty good got rid of those ones from the eye quite happy with that looking good on the edges okay happy with that let's zoom out a little bit let's move this down the next thing I'm going to do for this is come down to this modify layer that we've got here I'm going to click on the modify layer come down here to the live filters and I'm looking for bilateral blur I just want it to affect this modify layer what I'm hoping to do here is get rid of some of the texture that's on the skin just on this side to make it a little bit looking more like a paint layer. What I'm going to do is turn the tolerance all the way up at the moment and then I'm just going to keep moving my radius until that skin texture sort of disappears. I think it's going to be around about 10. Okay that's looking pretty good. So let's bring our tolerance all the way back down now so we can get some of the detail back in. Let's just move the tolerance up until we get that texture of the skin disappearing again. That looks pretty good. I might just take it up to 20. So I've got a radius of 10 pixels and a tolerance of 20. And you can see it's taken away the texture of the skin, but it's taken it a little bit away from this side as well. So what we can do there just to keep it on this side is come back to this bilateral blur. And again, let's go Command I and just invert it. What we can do then is take our paintbrush tool, paint in white to bring it back, and we'll just bring it back on this one side so let's just bring it back that texture looking sort of paint looking texture let's just bring it back on this one side here just around and nice and easy nice and careful and we're just going around these areas on one side of the face here okay I'm thinking that looks pretty good we've got the nice texture skin on this side and then sort of disappearing on this side as well so quite happy with that Next thing I'm going to do on this paint layer, I'm gonna add a curves adjustment. I just want it to be on that paint layer as well. So on that curves adjustment, right in the middle here, I'm just gonna pull that down and make that all a little bit darker. And again, you guessed it, on that curves adjustment, I'm gonna go Command I and again, invert it. Again, we still got our nice soft brush and we're still on our brush tool. So then these areas, I'm just gonna darken a little bit, make them a little bit darker, some of those cracks. Right underneath sort of gives them a little bit of depth as well. In the areas, remember you can resize your brush. I'm looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that so far. One other thing that I might do just on this modified layer, come over here, pick my dodge tool, make my brush a little bit bigger, zoom in a little bit. And I might just whiten around the eyes a little bit. Make those a little bit whiter. Same on this side. Just dodge that in a little bit just on each side. A little bit here as well. A little bit here. Zoom out. One more little adjustment right up the top. Another curves layer, but we're going to make this curves layer affect everything. So I'll move it right up the top. So it's going to affect everything in the picture. And I'm just going to move this slider up here to make a little bit of a fade. One in the middle down a little bit, a little bit darker. And then the one up here just up to get that S curve. Okay, let's move that into position. There we go, everybody. That is my take on the cracked skin effect in Affinity Photo. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial this week. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And I'll say to you until next time, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.